Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today in this short little episode we're going to be crashing the largest exoplanet into the sun in our solar system so yeah, it should be a nice little short episode but yeah while um or just as I'm getting started here just many many thanks for everyone who subscribed as usual and all that good stuff and yeah let's keep it up let's see if we can get to 1500 soon because that would be awesome but yeah anyway let's just get into this so largest exoplanet we'll do a few tests on this because sometimes it gives different outcomes so we'll start off here so let's see what happens so this is the largest exoplanet versus the sun so as you can see there the sun turned to a gas giant and then turned to a star again and it made a massive explosion as you can see here just look at that that's pretty cool to look at but yeah look at that that's massive let's go and look at it from mercury actually the closest planet just look at this we are this is from mercury here look how big that is and we'll look from earth as well we're gonna look from earth so if we look from good old earth here even from Earth, you can see this explosion is absolutely massive, so that's crazy. But will the sun supernova? Because it's lost a lot of mass. A lot of the sun's mass has gone in that supernova. It's lost 0 0.9 masses of sun there, so let's see what happens. So the orbits and the um, trails here. So that collision was so powerful, it actually just completely pushed the sun out of the solar system here. So look at that. That's, that's pretty cool. But it's just... Look how fast it's going. So yeah, that that is the outcome number one. Now, if we go ahead and do this again, so let's let's just hit play. Let's see if we get anything different. So let's um, pull it there, and yeah, look at that. See, it didn't happen this time. We've got a different outcome here. So let's see what happens. Okay, so interesting. So the sun's moving, but the planets are moving with the sun. But it looks like the temperature on Earth is really different to what it used to be. So Let's keep going here. Let's see um, how things work. So the orbits are really mucked up now. Look at this. All just from one little collision. Or one big collision. Because that was quite a lot. Those objects are very large. So, wow. Interesting. So the sun's still travelling through space, as you can see here. So if we pause. Earth is now closer than Venus is to the sun right now. So, yeah, this is not good. They're all in the red zone. Even Mars is in the red zone here. So, basically... Bad things happen if you combine these, and we'll go, we'll go, we'll do it again. See if anything different happens. But this time, we'll speed up the time walk. Sometimes when you do collisions at higher speeds in the game, different things happen. So let's let's try here. So let's um, put it there. Let's see what happens. Absolutely nothing. Do another one. Again. Anything? Absolutely nothing is happening apart from making it slightly weird, but. Yes, it's different outcomes, no matter or depend on different speeds of the simulation. So yeah, this one was a similar outcome to last time there, but interesting stuff. So yeah, that concludes this very very short little episode, guys. So yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed, and make sure whatever you do, do not combine the largest or the sun with the largest exoplanet, or do not crash them together, because mm -hmm. as you saw, bad things happen, and all the planets get knocked out of their orbits pretty much. Like this. Yeah, but there we go. So if you've got any ideas for another short little episode like this, feel free to leave the um, idea about down below. And make sure, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. And, uh, yeah, make sure you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.